you know, um, it's a it's a real it's a real fine line uh, with acoustic uh, acoustics in your building because mm-hmm. uh, I've been in a lot of churches that um, they they've been in a small church, a small setting, mm-hmm. and then they build their brand new facility and they treat it acoustically. It's so dead that they move into this facility and it's like. Uh, people aren't worshiping anymore. Yeah, it's it's a weird, it's a fine line that you walk. I think in this because there's something wonderful about hearing people sing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, when was the last time in your church that the musicians stopped and the people lifted their voices and sang? You get a thousand people just singing. It's a beautiful sound, and we've forgotten about it because mm-hmm. we've got. I mean, we're rocking. We've got the great, we've got acoustic, acoustically treated stages. The drums can play loud, but the people sing and their their voice goes about this high above. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, uh, because it's so acoustically treated and so dead, you know, people think, why should I sing? I'm, I'm at a show. I'm going to watch the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's a fine line because there's something wonderful about having some sense of your voice is going somewhere. The, mm-hmm. the, that's why acoustics uh, are, are so important in, in designing the church. And mm-hmm. it's better to do this when you're designing your church than trying to uh, retrofit it. 